Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. So, most global equity markets are a little bit uh, lower this morning following a volatile session yesterday, uh, and we're beginning to already ramp up for, for next week where we do have the FOMC session due, uh, and that's uh, on the 17th of September, which is Thursday. And um, more data out on Sunday night. Um, on China, which uh, a lot of traders will be looking at. So uh, it's suspected that there might be a little bit of selling pressure towards the end of our session. Well, first thing in the morning as the Asian sessions come to an end, but obviously towards the end of the US session tonight, where some people might want to take some money off the table just in case um, that, that Chinese data comes out much worse than expected. Um, but obviously, if it comes out really bad, then that means that there'll be a lot more potential stimulus calls in that part of the world. If it's just slightly worse than expected, that's probably going to have the biggest impact on equities. Uh, not that it's going to have a huge impact necessarily, but you have been warned. Um, especially after you look at that 24th of August uh, Chinese sell-off, that came very uh, that came on the Monday following a really poor date release from China at the weekend. So. Don't forget about those ones at the weekend. They are available to you actually on the economic calendar. Um, if we just kind of fast forward through here, you can see um, the date releases. So I always have a look at Saturday and Sunday now on a Friday on the market calendar. Make sure you don't miss out on those date releases. So in regards to economic date today, uh, we do have US PPI and the University of Michigan Sentiment Index at 1.30 and 3 p.m. UK time respectively. So make sure you don't forget about those as well. So then looking at the UK 100, um, similar kind of picture I guess. Uh, graveyard doji formation on Wednesday, uh, more volatility on Thursday and we're down towards the bottom end of our range already this morning. And looking at things from an intraday perspective, uh, the downwards pressure is already uh, getting ramped up first thing. But we are coming up close to the end of the Chinese session. I think that's around about half past eight, nine o'clock UK time. It's when the Shanghai Composite Index closes. And I can see that the Hong Kong uh, 43 and China 50 are trading. <coughs> They're slightly down at the moment. Uh, but apparently there was a little bit more government intervention in China last night as well on the yuan i believe so that was uh, quite an interesting move in some fx pairs uh, overnight because of that so looking at japan two to five um actually making positive headway if only just uh these candle formations are quite strange to 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 see um on the screen here because it's kind of unusual to have a candle formation like this and then a follow through with loads of volatility the next day and still be positive and then be positive again already this morning uh dollar yen 120 spot 55 um, but potential resistance at 18306 still in play. Bullish crossover on the MACD. So, looking at uh, dollar yen, it uh, looks to be that 21 period SMA providing short term potential resistance, with 121.87 being the actual price potential resistance. But you can just see there that this, uh, this black uh, 21 period SMA on here might be providing a little bit of short term potential resistance as well, with 118 or 119 being the potential support. So moving on to West Texas crude, uh, it's down one day, up the next. Um, bullish engulfing pattern yesterday looks to be that 45.85 is certainly a potential resistance level to be aware of. It's failing to break through. Um, so Saudi Arabia blocked uh, calls for a conference on the price of oil. They're quite happy, obviously, with the political landscape uh, to keep things as they are. Uh, no plans to cut back on production to support prices. Everything's all stats cool. So that was the latest news in regards to crude oil. Um, so with gold, it's not doing a huge amount either. Obviously, we had this, uh, this, this, this break lower yesterday. It's not followed through today. Uh, the dollar's actually lost a little bit of momentum because sterling and euro have both gone up on the intraday charts. Um, lots of people saying that it's uh, a September rate hike seems kind of shouldn't, shouldn't happen. It's good for America, but uh, they've got to think about the rest of the world. To be honest, it's all about is it right for America to be completely fair. Uh, depending who you speak to, um, some people will think that, yeah, they should raise rates because they need to have that little bit of extra wiggle room for the future. And other people saying there's too much volatility in the markets right now. It kind of feels to me that maybe they should just raise rates at this time just to have left off. And that there might be some short term volatility, but it, it could be better for some countries longer term. The countries that will be the, the most affected by a raise in interest rates in the UK will be emerging markets. Um, such places like um, Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, South America. Uh, they've got huge amounts of debt in dollars uh, and there'll be big capital outflow in a lot of those countries 
as people begin to flood in to buy the dollar because it got a higher yield, basically. Um, and, um, it, you know, it, it, it will be interesting times. Thursday, the 17th of September, very, very big day for the FOMC. So looking at your dollar, your dollar just slowly, actually had a great day yesterday, uh, more positive, positive movement this morning, if only just, we're in the middle of two ranges now. So one spot 14.75 and one spot 11 on the other side. We are trading above both moving averages and we've got a bullish crossover on the MACD. So bullish momentum could still be in your dollar. And we finish up there with GBP USD. Uh, again, decent day, bullish engulfing patterns, mastery 154.24 on the right side of the line, capped potentially by that 21 period SMA, with one spot 56 being the next potential um, resistance. We could maybe build a base around 154.24, bullish cross on the MACD and the slow stochastic. Um, so yeah, the cable looks quite interesting actually. So with these date releases today at 1.30 and 3 o'clock, uh, GP, USD and Euro dollar will undoubtedly be in focus because they've got the most potential momentum behind them. But be wary of a sell-off towards the end of the sessions, as some traders may choose to take some money off the table. It's not obviously a guarantee, obviously, because we do have another round of date releases from China, early doors on Sunday morning, UK time. So as ever, guys, keep your eye on the chart for me. Make insights part of the going forward, and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.